everyone, it's Uza from Uza's Food Labs again, and it's another garden episode, and we are at the lovely Omar Gardens in Lekki Phase 1 in Lagos, Nigeria, and you can find it on Google Maps. And today I'm going to be showing you what was daunting to me when I first started my gardening journey, which is transplanting. After I've planted my seeds and the, the plants have come up a little bit, they need to be moved from where they were planted in into larger containers. And it scared me so much because it's a bit of a delicate process. If you mess it up, you mess with the roots and the plant will die. But I've gotten the hang of it, so I want to share with you how to do it. It's easier than you think. And you know, just like babies are tougher than they look, the plants are tougher than they look as well. So come, come, come guys, let's get to it. So in our repurposed container here and our Maggie family sent us this and again it has drainage holes under remember I've talked about it you can drill holes under with using a knife or a hammer or something and I have all that lovely soil and we've got see oh, earthworms remember earthworms are good so there we have one so when you see them just leave them alone don't kill them even though everything in you might be tempted to kill them. Um, so, you've got the plants, plant, the plants you want to transplant, and this is a cayenne pepper, and I've got some regular basil here, which is scent leaf. And I'm just going to move some of the bigger pieces away. And you just want to make two deep holes, because plants can actually share space. Like, you know, human beings, you have neighbors. First thing you need to do when you want to transplant is you need to make your holes. And two plants can share a space if the container is large enough. You know, like human beings, you can have neighbors if you have a big enough space. So I'm just going to use my hands and then just make two holes. And I'm going to take, again, nifty idea, guys. For gardening, you don't have to spend a lot of money on plant tags. You can use disposable spoons like this and just write down what your product is. Now, to transplant, first thing to do is loosen the soil in the container just gently. Put your hands in almost like a scissor motion. Flip. See? And you coax the plant out gently. Make sure that its home is ready. And then gently transplant. And cover up with soil. Not as bad, huh? So it's a good thing we're sharing space, so I can show this to you again. Gently tease the soil in the container. Scissor motion. Flip over. Get your hole nice and deep. And then transplant. Okay. And so once you've transplanted, you need to water your plants in very well. Because it's just like you are relocating and you go to a new space. You need to really get comfortable or else you will suffer from relocation shock. So it's almost the same thing with your plants. Um, they can suffer from transplant shock. So water your plants in very well. And then over the next day or two, they would have gotten really, really happy. Sometimes the plants will flop over and you think they're dead. Give them a day or two, water them in thoroughly and they will be absolutely fine. And that's transplanting done, which is one of the harder things to do for gardening. But once you've conquered that, you can go on and take over the world. Well, over the gardening world in your own backyard. But you know what I mean. So I would love to hear from you. If you have any questions, if you just want to share your garden stories with me or even pictures, leave comments down below, follow us on social media, use us food labs, and subscribe to the channel as well so that you can get to see more fun episodes. So until the next time that we come together again in our little gardens, happy gardening and grow one thing.